Installing Color Relate Bath and Shower Doors This animation is intended as a supplement. Refer to the installation instructions packed with your product for important safety information, required tools, and detailed installation instructions. Warning! Risk of serious injury. Damage prior to installation can result in glass shattering. Inspect the glass and all parts for damage before installation. After installation, regularly inspect the glass and all parts for damaged, missing, or loose parts. Before you begin the installation, confirm the bath or shower ledge and wall meet the following requirements. The ledge has at least two and a quarter inches of flat surface. The wall must have at least two and seven eighths inches of flat surface. The radius where the ledge meets the wall must be a half inch or less. The walls must be within three eighths inches of plumb. The shower ledge must be level. Confirm that the door is correctly sized for your bath or shower. Refer to the shower space measurement video for Kohler sliding doors to determine what size door is right for your showering space. Do not install the door if any of these requirements are not met. Cover the drain with tape to avoid the loss of small parts. Measure the distance between the walls along the shower ledge. Mark this distance on the threshold. Make a second mark 3 8 inch to the inside of the first mark. Cut the threshold at the second mark and file any rough edges. Note that there is a left and right bumper. Press the bumpers onto the ends of the threshold. Center the threshold on the ledge between the walls. If there is a lip on the front of the ledge, align the threshold against the lip. For ledges without lips, Make sure that the threshold sits flat and is a quarter inch from the front of the shower ledge along its entire length. If needed, use a coin to match and transfer the corner radius of the shower to the threshold and bumpers. Trim and file the threshold and bumpers. Tape the threshold in place. Use a pencil to mark the location of the threshold. Depending on the door's glass thickness, one of two sliding panel wall seals will be included with your product. If your seal has ridges, use a utility knife to remove the ridges a half inch from each end of the seal. For all installations, insert the sliding panel seal into the L channel on one of the bumpers. Confirm that the wall seal is plumb, then tape the seal in place. Use a pencil to mark the location of the seal. Place the drill template over the wall seal so it points inside the shower. Confirm that the template is fully seated on top of the seal, is flat against the wall, and sits level. Then mark the hole locations. Remove the template and drill a quarter inch hole at each mark. If drilling into tile, use the appropriate drill bit to avoid damaging the finished wall. Install the provided wall anchors. Remove the seal and insert it into the L channel on the other bottom bumper. Confirm that the wall seal is plumb, then tape the seal in place. Use a pencil to mark the location of the seal. Place the drill template over the wall seal so it points inside the shower. Confirm that the template is fully seated on top of the seal, is flat against the wall, and sits level. Then mark the hole locations. Remove the template and drill a quarter inch hole at each mark. If drilling into tile, use the appropriate drill bit to avoid damaging the finished wall. Install the provided wall anchors. Remove the wall seal. Before proceeding, clean up any debris. Using the provided screws, secure both brackets to the walls. Ensure that the brackets are level. If the brackets are not level, loosen the screws and adjust as needed. Important! Confirm all measurements before cutting the header. Do not cut the header too short. Measure the distance between the walls and mark the distance on the header. Using a handsaw, 
position the blade just inside the marked line and cut the header. File any rough edges and clean any debris from the header channel. Slide a bumper into the header channels on each end of the header. From inside the shower, raise the header above the brackets with the flat side facing out. Lower the header onto the brackets at an angle so the top inside corner fits over both brackets. Then rotate the header flat against the brackets. From inside the shower, drill a 9 inch hole through the inside wall of the header, using the brackets as a template. Do not drill through the outside wall of the header. Secure the header to the brackets with the provided self-drilling screws. Clean any debris from the header channels and slide the bumpers against the wall until they click into place. The header is now locked in place and should not move. Determine which side of the shower the fixed panel will be installed. The fixed panel will be installed on the wall opposite the shower head. Remove the bottom bumper from the fixed panel side of the threshold. Notch the bumper along the indent, then reinstall the bumper to the threshold. Realign the threshold on the mark you made earlier and tape the threshold in place. Measure the fixed panel. Mark this distance on the threshold seal. Make a second mark 5 8 inch to the inside of the first mark. Cut the threshold seal at the second mark. Slide the seal into the threshold and align it with the front of the bumper. Press the remainder of the seal into the groove on the threshold. Press the fixed panel wall seal onto the wall side edge of the fixed panel. Align the seal with the top edge of the fixed panel. Place the fixed panel into the groove on the threshold and lean the top of the panel against the header. Make sure that the panel is tight against the wall. Then mark the location of the holes on the header. Remove the fixed panel. Drill a quarter inch hole through the header at each mark. From inside the shower, Use a 3 8 inch drill bit to enlarge each of the holes in the back wall of the header. Do not drill through the front wall of the header. Clean any debris from the header channels. Orient the sliding panel so the holes for the door handle will be on the same side of the shower as the shower head when the panel is installed. Position the roller and gasket on the side of the glass that will face outside the shower area. Orient the roller so the triangle is pointing up. Then attach the roller to the panel with the gasket and the bolt. Hold the roller in place with a supplied wrench and use a 3 quarters inch socket wrench to securely tighten the bolt. Repeat this process to install the second roller. With assistance, move the sliding panel top first into the shower area. Carefully lean the sliding panel against the back wall of the shower. Remove the tape and apply 100% silicone sealant to the groove in the bottom of the threshold. Realign the threshold on the mark and press the threshold into place. From inside the shower, insert a screw through each hole in the header. Place a gasket onto each of the screws. Apply a bead of 100% silicone sealant inside the groove on the threshold seal. Remove the film from the fixed panel wall seal Place the fixed panel into the groove in the threshold and lean the panel against the header. Place a gasket onto each of the screws. Thread a nut onto each of the screws. Using a 3 16 inch hex wrench, tighten both of the screws securely. Ensure the screws are flush with the inside wall of the header. Tighten as needed. Press the wall seal tight against the wall. Install the towel bar by following the instructions included with your product. Angle the panel so the top of the roller goes into the header channel. Then rotate the panel vertical so the roller rests on the track. Slide the panel back and forth to confirm proper operation. The elate door is designed to be adjustable after installation to account for out of plumb walls. When properly adjusted, the door panel will touch the top and bottom bumpers on the wall when closed. Close the door panel. Using a 3 quarters inch socket wrench, slightly loosen the roller bolts. Using the supplied wrench, adjust the rollers up or down as needed to align the door panel. Once the panel is properly aligned, 
securely tighten both bolts. Partially thread the set screw into the center guide. Then snap the center guide into place on the threshold. Ensure that the guide is fully seated behind the threshold lip. Slide the door panel into the center guide channel. Slide the center guide down the threshold until the edge of the center guide is aligned with the fixed panel. Secure the center guide with the set screw. Thoroughly clean the wall where the wall seal will be installed. If your wall seal has ridges, align the top of the cover with the top of the wall seal and press the cover into place. Remove the film from the back of the wall seal. Align the seal with the mark you made earlier so the fin is inside the shower. Then press the seal firmly into place. Press the sliding panel seal onto the sliding panel. Measure the distance between the fixed panel and bumper along the outside of the shower. Mark this distance on the threshold cover, then cut the cover at this mark. Press the threshold cover into the groove on the threshold with the flap inside the shower area. The top bumper is required for 54, 66, and 72 inch door sizes. Install the top bumper if it is provided. Open the sliding panel so the edge is 2 inches away from the fixed panel. Align the top bumper with the edge of the sliding panel and mark the hole locations. Remove the bumper and drill 1 8 inch holes through the inside wall of the header at each of the marks. Do not drill through the outside wall of the header. Secure the bumper to the header with the provided screws. Install the handle by following the instructions included with your product. Apply 100% silicone sealant around the outside of both wall seals and along the outside edge of the threshold. Allow the sealant to cure according to the manufacturer's instructions before using the shower.